How's it guys? Today we're going to be chatting about crystalloids versus colloids. My name is James. This is That Made Guy. This is where we simplify unnecessarily complicated topics so that you and I can both understand them better. So what is a crystalloid and what is a colloid? These are both IV solutions. They can be given in the same way to the same people. You probably couldn't tell the difference if you were just looking at them. Crystalloids. An example of a crystalloid is lactated ringers or normal saline or whatever the case is. This is just a normal crystalloid and what we do is we use this for fluid replacement and rehydration. The thing about crystalloids is that it quickly moves from inside the vessel, so intravascular, to extravascular spaces at a ratio of one to four. So for every four liters of ringers that you put into a patient, only one liter is going to stay in the intravascular space. So it's good for rehydrating, but it's not good for maintaining volume. That is where you have a colloid. There's many kinds of colloids. Blood is actually a colloid. And so the differences between a colloid and a crystalloid is that a colloid has much bigger proteins and that helps keep the fluid inside the intravascular space. And so it, is, it actually has a ratio of one to one. So for every liter of colloid you put into a patient, you have one liter of volume expansion. So the issue with colloids is that they are expensive they are potentially dangerous because they can uh, patients can have allergic reactions and they can also cause issues with kidney so the reason why we carry crystalloids most of the time is because we're normally with a patient for a shorter length of time there isn't a whole lot of evidence to say that volume replacement in trauma is that helpful and that when we are treating other patients like dehydration patients or burns patients or any other patient we need crystalloids we don't need colloids so yes, colloids can be used, but only in specific situations, probably in trauma situations, where every other situation we need crystalloids. So those are the important differences. A crystalloid is cheap, very low complication rate. Colloids are expensive. There are complications, and those are pretty much the simple changes or um, differences between the two. The big thing or the big differences in the two being, obviously, as I was just saying, is that crystalloids have a like one to four ratio. So for every four liters of crystalloid, only one liter will stay in the intravascular space. The other stuff all adds to edema. The colloid, it's a one to one ratio. So for every one liter of colloid you give, you have one liter of volume expansion. So those are the big differences. If you like this, please hit like and subscribe. If you've ever used a colloid, I'd love to know about it in the comments below. And thanks for your time. Bye for now.